from midnight tweets to drinking bleach. YouTube, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know who it is. Your boy, play, boy, play, man. I got another one, man. My ex boyfriend cheated on me with his homeboy. We finna listen to this and see what she got to say about this. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what y'all thinking. If this video finna be messy already. Shout out to y'all for real. Y'all some real supporters, man. I even done, I done downgraded my quality, man. Not even not not for long, y'all. But I'm just I'm just sacrificing what's going on because I gotta pay the bills, man. I gotta pay the bills. So y'all don't get on me for the motherfucking camera quality. But keep it G. Is it too bad? Y'all be honest with me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video though. My ex boyfriend cheated on me with his homeboy. Let's get right into the video. Cut everything up, y'all. From here, let's get it. To tear gassing citizens and staging a photo up. Uh, the man living in my attic. If you haven't seen that story, time for the tea. Like skip over all of the the filler shenanigans. I like her energy though. I ain't gonna lie. Games because this is probably the most spicy titled story time I've ever done outside of the man living in my attic. If you haven't seen that story, time I'm gonna add this video to the playlist. So feel free. It would have been a dead man living in that attic because yeah, ain't ain't no motherfucking way. In my past story time, I'm wearing my Libra necklace. You know why? Because my birthday is coming up September thirtieth, and that's crazy. Shout out to her, man. I'm September 29th. Yeah, I might have to cop me one of the Libra chains. And my birthday is coming up. What y'all can do for my birthday is y'all can go ahead and buy some merch. So let's get to the story. I'm gonna skip all that you do. As you read from the title, I'm going to be telling you about my boyfriend who left me for a man i don't know what i'm going to title this by boyfriend who had a boyfriend whatever juicy title i come up with oh i'm so sorry Tyreek. damn i just smacked the crap out of Tyreek. um y'all get the gist i had a man and i caught him with some man. Y'all so invested about what somebody else doing in the bedroom. What? Oh, I heard Thomas again. He used to mess with blah blah blah. 
And so, you know, it was T still. So he's like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Like, I would never have expected Tommy. Look. So, out of all of the guy, and all of my, all of our guy friends, my group, Kevin, was closest to Tommy. So, everybody started questioning Kevin. Excuse me, um, Kevin, that's your man's name. And, blah, blah, blah. and so, the first breath. They was throwing him up under the bus, weren't they? Any person in the closet is the extra, like the extra homophobia. Like, you just, you just angry, like. Facts. That's exactly how most people be. That 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 should have been the first red flag. And I had never seen that side of him before. So he go off. He like, I'm not with that gay stuff. Stop playing. Just blew up, like basically. So me and Tim looked at each other like, why he doing all that? And so you know, I'm telling him like, calm down. Like I don't know why you doing all that. Like they just they just joking around. Like they not really like playing. They they just playing with you. And so he starts blowing up. I mean, face turning colors, just going crazy at the lunch table. Like and the boys just the the, 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 the other players they just eating it up. They like, oh my god, is this nigga tripping? And he geeking, blah blah blah. And yeah, so I didn't look at the first red flag as he was gay. I looked at the first red flag as oh, like he's just doing too much, you know. Y'all know the history and how homophobia is ingrained in the black community, all of that. So that's just how I looked at it. So fast forward, after that lunch, we had a conversation and talking about what happened at lunch lead led to us, you know, breaking up. But we stopped talking, I should say. So we stopped talking for like a week. Like it was cold. The trail went cold for like a week. And so basically we had stopped talking for a week. And after we stopped talking, you know, I had started talking to somebody else. I'm tired of using the word talking. I'm so glad that as an adult, I would never do nothing like that. But, you know, kids, if you decide to talk to somebody in school, don't do it. It's trash. I guess because it was op- I was openly talking to somebody else who didn't do, he decided he wanted to bang down my door on some money. Oh, she did do this. So cool. You know, cool. We got back together. He had a car. I did it. So what he did was when he wanted to talk, he had pulled up to my place only maybe 10 minutes from his but pulled up to my place and um <clears throat> we stayed in the car because it's a new mom playing so play there was no boys in the house we stayed in the car we talked and yeah you know made up i guess and i this is the detail that i want to say so he made up with me on a friday night on friday was when a lot of the football players and the guys would like hang out and stuff at the one guy Tyler's house so Tyler lived maybe like 35 minutes out, whatever. He had a nice house, so that's where all the guys and stuff would hang out. So I knew that that's probably where he was about to go. And, Ooh, you know, I'm about to, you know, go hang out at Tyler's. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, me being a dumb dumb I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, boo, I'll see you tomorrow. He leaves, five minutes go by, and I get a text. And it's from Kevin. <laughs> and Kevin is like, I'll be there at five. Do not pay somebody to build you a Shopify store because I'm going to do it free with 20 handpicked products by my. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. My bad, though. My mind just. I just lost something. So, Tyler lived maybe like 35 minutes out, whatever. He had a nice house, so that's where all the guys and stuff would hang out. So, I knew that that's probably where he was about to go. Ooh, you know, I'm about to. Know, go hang out at Tyler's. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know, me being a dumb dumb. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, boo, I'll see you tomorrow. He leaves, five minutes go by, and I get a text, and it's from Kevin. <laughs> and Kevin is like, I'll be there at five. Huh? I am doing calculations in my head. I'm like, carry the one. You just left my house five minutes ago, and you're texting someone saying you're going to be there in five minutes. Last I checked, you're five minutes on the corner for me. So if you would have been on your way home texting someone, that would make sense. Um, and Tyler's house is 35 minutes away. So the math is just not math in here. It is just not math. So I called my best friend Taylor before I do anything irrational. <laughs> I'm like, a bitch, I just got a text message from Kevin saying that he was going to be here in five minutes. And she was like, is he going to be there in five minutes? I'm like, 
girl, no. He just left my house. She's like, what? She was like, is he going? Because her boyfriend, she, uh, my, I don't know her boyfriend. I'm going to call her boyfriend Michael. Her boo Michael also goes to Tyler House and stuff. So she was like, what? She was like, what you mean? I'm like, she was like, if he just left, he was like, ain't he going to Tyler House? She was like, maybe he's missing text Tyler. I was like, sis, Tyler lives 35 minutes away from us. She was like, you're right. He, he, that don't make no sense. So, you know, my sister being a ride or that she is, she was like, you want to pull up? I didn't have a car, but she did. So I'm like, you damn skip me, I want to pull up. So I text him back, and I'm like... That's all these niggas going to that one crib. And don't tell me, and don't tell me they gave you, quote unquote, they gave you that crib. Don't tell me that's what she can say. I'm out. Hey, did you mean to send me this? He was like, oh no, my bad, I'm in the Senator Tyler. Oh, I fucking food. No, 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 no. So Best like, friend said it. Is he going to Tyler crib? And she was on it. I'm like, how you going to be at Tyler house in five minutes? She was, he was like, you know I drive fast. I must have had dumb broad written on my forehead. So I don't act crazy. I know how to how to properly, you know, do a pull up. So I'm like, okay, boo, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. To, I'll see you tonight. Taylor pulls up and she tells me, she's like, all right, girl, let's get down there. You know, if do you want me to call Michael to see like if he can give me some insight? I said, girl, do you really think Michael is about to write out Kevin? Come on now. You know Taylor what well, that's not about to happen. She's like, okay, cool. She's like, I left my laptop at Michael's. So I'm gonna go to Michael's first. I was like, you can go to, I was like, Michael's not home. She's like, no, 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 it's fine. She was like, I'm cool, real cool. His grandmother, his grandmother said that, you know, um, I can come pick it up. I was like, did you text her tonight? She's like, no, I texted her earlier. I was supposed to come get it earlier, but I'm gonna just come get it tonight. She said, I can come over, whatever, and it's not too late. So we drive to Michael's house, which is also in the neighborhood. Like all of us basically live within like a 10 minute radius from each other. I'm hot in the car. I'm like, girl, when I pull up, like if he's not there, I I'm gonna, I, and then it's like, I don't even really know what I'm gonna do because I don't know where this nigga is at at this point. It was no, we didn't have locations and stuff on back then. So we pull up to Michael's house, Taylor knocks on the door, Michael's grandmother answers. Now, Taylor asked me to come up there because even though she knows his family, y'all know it can be still be awkward. Like, she's like, I know them, but you know, I still, I, I also come from the in there with me because I'm usually with Michael when I go in there. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. The grandmother answers the door. She's like, hi, y'all doing? Da, da, da. She didn't know me. I was like, I'm Taylor. And you know, every time somebody find out, well, my name was Taylor. It's just a whole thing. She's like, oh, y'all got the same whole conversation. Name of y'all sisters. Da, 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 da. She tells her, she's like, yeah, the laptop is up in Michael's room. You can go up in there and grab it. So we go upstairs and the door's locked. Taylor's like, if Michael not here, why would the door, why would this ever put me locked? Facts. Taylor gets to rattle in the door handle. And so once we shook the door handle a little bit, we hear rattling in the room, right? So I'm like, what the freak is going on? I'm like, grandma, Michael was at Tyler. She's like, I did too. They obviously, Michael's in the room. And so you can hear him moving around stuff, like whispering. And we like, he ain't there with somebody. At this point, Taylor goes, bang, goes crazy. She's like, open the door, da da da. I'm like, Taylor, keep it down so the grandmother don't hear me. She won't come up here. So she was like, open the door. I'm like, well, I hear you in there. Open the door. She's banging on the door. So we like whisper yelling at this point. Because the grandmother was downstairs. She had church music blasting. So we knew that it was going to take a lot for her, us to hear her. She was already told to hear God bless her. Taylor starts going in. She's like, open the door, open the door, open the door. So we had a rattling going on in the, in the room. and so Don't they, tell me her ninja was in there. Taylor, you know, he had one of those locks, one of those how can I describe the lock? The butter knife. Don't tell me you had to use another a butter knife to open the door. Probably a way. It's probably something that this lock is called, and I'm probably messing it up. But the lock is like this. Like you can put you can put a coin in it and go like that. So that's the kind of lock it was. So oh. we put the coin. So I had a coin. I put the coin in it and I went like that. So we unlocked the door and bust it open. So we get in there. Right. Like, comment, subscribe. What does look like you? Michael's sitting there, pants unzipped. He got clothes on, but pants unzipped so we can see the boxes peeking through. And he got his hand on the closet door like this. Like, why Why are you here? And she's like, why am I here? Nigga, why are you here? You're supposed to be at Tyler's house at the game night, and you're here at your house. So he was like, yeah, I had to come back to the house to grab some stuff. That's why I was rattling around. I thought she was my grandmother trying to come in here because she's always trying to bust in here. And so, so me and Taylor like, we give each other that look. 
And he was like, yeah, I just came back here because I had to grab. I ain't been up some excuse we had to grab. I don't even know what he said he had to grab. And he was like, she was like, it was so. Wow, his pants out. Why his, why his zipper down? So dire that you had to drive another 35 minutes and then another 30. Like, it's just not making sense. It's so funny how when somebody just go, to, go on the front don't ever talk to the guy. He always, she always hype up the girl. So I'm like, oh, but Taylor, I'm just trying to figure out why his hand on that door. And so Taylor was like, you're right. Why is your hand on the door? What's your name? That ninja was in there. Cause his hand was like on the closet door. First of all, if he didn't want nobody to go in the closet, the last thing he should have did was put his hand on that damn closet door. I don't know if he was mid closing it when we walked in there, but he had his hand on the closet door. So obviously, every cheating scenario, it's a half naked hoe in the bathroom. I mean, not in the bathroom, in the closet door. So or under like, or under the I bed. Was, I was leaning in the closet. It's not that big of a deal. So Taylor was like running and rushes past me. And tries to open the door, but Mike is too quick for all that. So he had his hand on the door. So me being a rider guy, I am. I was like, girl, you know it's another girl in here. So I start going through Mike's stuff. He's like, what are you doing? Get your friend, get your friend. And she was like, don't talk to my friends like that. So I'm going through Michael's stuff. I'm ripping through drawers. I'm ripping through pants. I'm just trying to find some evidence of a woman being there, like some tubes, a, 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 a bra, a, a left nipple pad, something. Something to indicate there is a woman in here because logically in my head I'm thinking if there's a girl in here. Then I thought like my mind starts putting pieces together and I'm like, how would she have gotten up here past the grandmother? Like so many questions going on in my head, but I wasn't really worried about the questions at the time because I'm trying to help my sis. I had completely forgot about, you know, Kevin trifling cheating behind and I was like, No what? We wanna do Exactly. Forgot about Kevin ass. I forgot about his ass. Do a mind Eight in a second, let's get my sis out the way. So I'm thinking through her stuff and I'm like, girl, I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. She must have she must have everything in the closet. So I run over to the closet too and I help my sis. So Michael was pretty strong, but he's not strong enough to hold the, the closet door for both of us. Like, come on. <laughs> we pull, it did take a little second, you know. Michael was an athlete, so you know, it took, took a little teamwork and a little little elbow grease. Um, but we get the door open. And when we get that goddamn door open. Like, come subscribe. I feel like we finna see Kevin ass behind this door. Guess, guess, guess what? Guess what? Girl in the closet. Just guess what? Girl in the closet. You're wrong. It was a man, and a man was Kevin. Oh, oh. I literally, it and was. And bro, and bro, Kevin pants out. Like, 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 bro, Kevin you can hear a fly fart in that bitch. It was so quiet. And you would think, like, so what? Kevin was in the closet. Why would you even assume? Like, Taylor, you just making assumptions. I am not making assumptions. My boo boo, Kevin, was in the closet. Drawers. Nothing but the drawers in the And then you see Michael here with the pants like that. We obviously know who was the top and who was the bottom. So that's a whole other conversation. But Kevin. With shirt, no shirt, no shoes, no pants, just drawers. Looking like a cheap hooker. Looking like a cheap hooker. Bro was on the knees. They, they ain't even get it started yet. They ain't even get everything started yet. And he had the most doodle -doo look on his face. And I really say, and I'm like, so here I am, thinking that you're here we are. I'm sorry, that's just me. Here me and my sis are thinking that we're getting cheated on and we were going to find a hussy in my closet and I was going to pull up on Kevin to find some hoe in his house and Kevin is the hoe. Mm. <laughs> Kevin is the hoe and my is the hussy. It was just not making sense. Like, I was trying to think of every logical explanation. Like, and then Kevin was stuttering. I mean, Michael was stuttering, beatboxing. I, I, I don't, I just, it's just, uh, uh, <laughs> beatboxing. <laughs> and then Kevin was just sitting there looking, looking cheap. Everything I wanted to say out of my mouth just couldn't come out. Like, I, you know what, and you know what's crazy? If it was a girl in there, I'd have been like, you got me, baby, you got my sis messed up, da, da, da. But it's just something about finding this kind of situation where you really just don't know what to say. I feel like his grandmother just magically popped into the room. She come up there and she's like, what's going on in here? And so me and 
Taylor was like, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. And so his grandmother assumed that we all was on some freaky stuff. Like Taylor was trying to get down with Mike while I was trying to get down with Kevin, like maybe on some orgy stuff. And she was like, No, y'all don't. I cannot believe y'all being this way in my house while I'm right here. And blah 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 blah. And we was like, Listen, we are gonna call her Miss Johnson. I was like, Listen, Miss Johnson, I we just came up here for the laptop. If this is what we found. Kevin was in the closet, both literally and metaphorically, and I don't know what's going on. We're just going to go. Taylor's going to grab her laptop. I'm sorry. Like, uh, we got to go. And so we, like, literally, uh, uh, we ran out of that house so fast. We sit in front of Michael's house for a good 10 minutes, and we exchanged the loudest silence in the history of silence. Like, the, every word that came around my mouth was, bitch. <laughs> the fact that you could like semi like visualize their conversation in the car being like shocked by that shit. Like it was nothing else for us to say. Like so ten minutes go by, well, it felt like five years as we really sit here trying to process everything. And I see Kevin running outside, fully clothed this time, thank God. Come running outside and he banging on my side of the window. So I wrote the window down. But I only brought it down like that, which, so it was like a little crack for him to talk. And so he was like, I just want to talk to you. Can you get all that talk privately? I'm like, privately for what? Like, we all just experienced this together. And I'm like, I did that. <laughs> yeah, we just seen it then there. Uh, didn't know. <laughs> need group counseling. Like, I don't really know uh, uh, what she need to go talk uh, private for. So, uh, y'all know what he said to me? Just, just get. Yeah, um, you're not, you're not gonna tell nobody, you know? mm. yeah, you ain't gonna say nothing. School, 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 school. Mm. He said, "Please don't tell nobody." I tell you, good morning. Oh, you just sucked me into an emotional roller coaster, and the first thing you got to say is, "Please don't tell nobody." You, I don't. But yeah, I just, I, I asked Taylor. I said, "Taylor, roll the window down a little bit more." <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did it. The messy violence, that was me. The messy violence, that was me. I was disrespected. Me today would do that. But I was so disrespected. My hand, like, I was saying one thing with my hand wanted to say something. Like, so I just, I, I popped them on the lip. It was bleeding a little bit. But, you know, God forgive me. I was just disrespected. It's like, you're telling me you're going to avoid game night. And you're going to, you're going to a game night, all right. You're going to the, you're going to a game night. I I just wasn't the kind that I thought it was going to be. Then Michael came out there and tried to talk to Taylor. Taylor pulled the car away before, before Michael could get there. Mm. She thought that if she saw Michael that she might fight him, which I understood because my first instinct was to pop Kevin, so I completely understood. So we get back, we meet up at school, and Michael, we see Michael and Kevin, and they just got the moves. Ghost looking face. They just know they're about to walk into school and the whole school about to know what's going on. Little do they know, I don't got time to be spreading rumors or to be telling people about, about business and what was going on. So we never told anybody that what happened with that. But, you know, life comes full circle. Crazy part is, is later on in the year, there was a, there was a rumor. It wasn't started by us and we didn't tell anybody. We, nobody, me, me and her to this day took it to the grave. And people, Bro, them two right there some real shorties right there. I ain't gonna lie. Any other hoe, her and her best friend that came out of, out of their ass. The foot man, the whole school knew as soon as they went back in the gym before classes. Let's be honest. Still wouldn't know that it was us that talking about. But later on, there was an additional rumor. There was another rumor about them doing something. And uh, as soon as it came back to me and tell, I was like, oh, that's crazy. Oh, I guess we were cover ups. That's all I can say. I I didn't feed to the rumor. I could have been like, you know what? It's true. We saw it. We saw it. But I don't know. We ain't even do that. I ain't do it. I ain't. Listen, I ain't. That ain't my business. If me and Taylor, because I remember one time me and Taylor tried to make a double date with us on that on a Friday night. We was like, oh, we should go to move on Friday because on Saturday we had Saturday morning practice. And all some stuff so we didn't have any other way to do it. So let's do a double date on a Friday. And they was so adamant. They was like, you know we can't miss guys night. Clearly we know why guys night was so um uh, Damn. <laughs> they were serious about that guy's name. Important to Kevin and Michael. I wish them the best. There's really no moral to the story. I mean, well, uh, there's a moral to the story. Don't, you know, obviously homophobes and, you know, for multiple reasons, not just that. And please know LGBT bash in the comments, but this was a very, a very interesting story. I guess. 
Y'all, shout out to the two tables, man, for keeping it real and not outing them boys for real. Because it was going to come out anyway. Let's just be honest. The two freak elite couldn't keep, 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 keep it in the pants. So, that's on them. But shout out to the two tailors. In my opinion, I don't think she homophobic on none of that. I just feel like she just, you know what I'm saying? She's just talking about the, the story. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I don't think she homophobic on And I doubt her friend is neither. It's just in that moment. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with the with us men. We think a shorty finna go over there with girls night. We walk in, they in there sucking coochies and shit. We gonna think the same shit, say the same shit. But, yeah, I do respect them for keeping it G, not saying nothing. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even on no keeping it G, just on some being on some grown-up-ish in high school, I'm, I'm guessing. So, yeah, that's some real talk right there. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about this. The quality on this, y'all let me know if I need go ahead and go back to regular phone. Y'all let me know. Y'all feedback means a lot to me. Y'all comments down below means the world to me on oh God. So I need y'all to keep commenting down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And this probably this was not probably this was the the most entertaining story time. I ain't gonna lie. But the title was accurate. Her ex boyfriend cheated on me with his with his homeboy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Y'all like to come subscribe. I'm see y'all in the next one. And comment down below what y'all think about the um the audio and all that. Just comment down below. Keep it real. I told y'all another phone coming soon. This just you gotta start from the bottom, man. I'm we gonna figure it out. See y'all in the next video though. Shout out to the ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and ladies.